What's up guys, Jeff K Shop 42 here today with a new tutorial. And today I'm doing a request and uh his name is uh Kid Gamer Central and he wanted me to set up a tutorial on putting a gun on a sackbot instead of a controller meter. We're gonna make our own and it's we're gonna be able to control it. So this is gonna be the first episode. This is gonna be the first part, so um I'm gonna break it up in three. But anyway, we're going to start off by putting a controller nader down on a sack bot and um, putting another controller nader down on the uh, um, cardboard piece. We're going to place a tag on the sack bot, make it green, and name it player. Okay, first thing we're going to do is uh, set the controller nader to receive a signal from green. And we're going to set this one up to for it to uh, transmit. So once we have that done, we should be able to control the sat box from just sitting down on the cardboard piece. So now we're going to start the um, the weapon. So we're going to get either a sticker panel or a hologram material, something that you can uh, make invisible once you're done. We're going to lay a piece behind it. Uh, it's going to be a square, and we're going to lay a piece in front of it and it's going to be a circle we'll do that right now it'll help us out later okay we're just going to make everything invisible so you can see how I set that up it's going to be a flat piece then it's going to be one layer circle and once we did that we're going to glue them together <coughs> and we're going to place a microchip on the flat piece the thin piece. Now we're going to place a controller nader, and this this controller nader is going to be receiving a signal from green too. That's also going to be receiving a signal. We're going to get a uh, anti gravity tweaker, and last but not least, we're going to get a uh, a follower. We're just going to go ahead and um shoot this. So I'm going to make the maximum speed up to 100. I want it to follow. I want the acceleration to be up. I want the range to be um, complete. So we're going to make it green, but we're not going to pr press the player because I don't want it to follow the player. I just want to make sure everything works OK. Then I'm going to edit the follower to actually follow the player. OK, first now we're going to get a joystick and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees to the right we're going to con connect the wires of the right stick up to up down to up down and left right to left right we're going to place the speed on uh, 1080 I mean these are just my uh, these are my preferences preferences on how to tweak the um, settings but you can do whatever you want you can make it suit you and uh, I'm going to uh, set the anti-gravity tweaker on 50% and I'm just making sure it rotates right there okay that's pretty good And now, once we have all that logic out of the way, we're going to actually use decorations to make the gun. And we're going to we're using a uh, sticky panel and hologram material because if the if the sack bot is going through an obstacle with where, where an actual gun can't fit, like a if you tried to make this out of wood, it might get caught on something. So I, I made it out of a uh, sticky panel and decorations things that that can actually go through obstacles and I'm just gonna you know soup it up a little bit this method can be used to make cool games like capture the flag or team deathmatch and stuff like that if you like making multiplayer multiplayer games on little big planet this would be good thing the creator is good but sometimes people want to do something different just like K 
Kid Gamer Central. And I don't blame you, because I tried to do this before, too. Okay, so I set the follower to follow the player. And I'm just going to, you see, you see that? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. I didn't do it in the tutorial, but if you press the preview, it'll make the sticker panel disappear. And it'll be all nice and clean for you. And what's the point of having a gun if you can't shoot it? So what we're going to do is just uh, set up emitter now. I'm going to use an old bullet that I did before. And I'm just going to place it where I want it to be shot out at. Do some settings. And if you know what you're doing in Little Big Planet with the logic, you can have different fire modes. And it's going to all go on the gun logic controller and hook up the R1 button to it. So once you press R1, it's going to shoot the gun. And there we have it. Okay. Okay, part two is coming up next. Part two, we're going to be talking about some more stuff.